Hi, this is Barb Carey. So super excited about our upcoming shore fishing weekend or Wisconsin River Walleye Tournament weekend, whatever you prefer. Couple tips, get a map, paper map. We often talk about paper maps, how valuable they are. They tell you all sorts of spots that you can shore fish. Then you use one of these gazetteers. This is a Michigan one. You'll need the Wisconsin one for this event, but these are great to find where the water meets the public property and boat landing, stuff like that. Great information to find your spots. We'll share spots with you though, don't worry. I'm old. I have artificial joints, a bad back. I travel super light shore fishing. I'm not gonna be a pack mule. I'm too old for that stuff. These are my rods. Once they're in this rack, I wrap them up with the um, ace bandage. Works great. If you don't have a rod rack, just put all your rods together with the reels facing out and wrap them all up with the ace bandage. It works great. Um, I like longer rods for shore fishing. We'll go into rod selection later on, but mine are two piece. That's it. I always carry three rods, no extra. I'll have three lines in the water in my rod holders. So I may take four rod holders if it's just me. Three for rods and one for an extra to keep in the sand because you never want to put your rod down. Always put your rod in a rod holder or it slips off the chair, the bucket in the reel ends up in the sand and that's bad. I'm gonna take a, a stringer a minnow bucket. In this bucket, I'm gonna put all my stuff in. For my tackle, I have tools, and I have one pill bottle with everything I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need three things. Well, maybe four. A couple of these weights, colored hooks, a couple of those slider things like these, a couple split shots. That's all I'm taking. I ain't taking more than that. It gets heavy. I know what I need. I know what the water depth is. A few bells. I keep this little magnet tray. Just got to throw my extra stuff and it sticks right to it. Don't have to. Then a light leader line and minnows. That's it. That's all I take. I uh, have this little tiny bag that'll go over my shoulder. So I'm carrying my bucket in one hand. Everything can go in here. These kind of minnow buckets usually fit in a bucket. So I have that, stick my rod holders in, and this is my bucket top seat. Travel super, super light. But if I need something I don't have, I just ask Ricky. <laughs> All right, you saw what Barb brings and how she packs her stuff. Um, I tend to bring a little more stuff and I'm usually carrying or packing for more than one person. So this is what I've found works best for me. Um, whether I'm going, light or bringing all the gear I have this um, hip pack with me so this is nice because it still allows me to wear something on my back and it's a dry bag so it holds up pretty well so I wear this like this now I'm either if I need to bring a backpack I can do that or my fishing chair either way I can bungee my net around my backpack so that's one way to free up your hands I prefer to use these long rod holders. They're kind of a pain, but they sure are nice once you're down there and set up. So I just uh, use gear ties or bungees to put these together. My rods are Velcroed or gear tied together. And then I'll put one bigger strap around the whole bundle so I can carry these with one hand once they're strapped together. The backpack goes on, or the chair goes on my back. Never forget your bump board. I just slide that in here and it stays put. And then I do this so I have about half the water in it as I carry it down the hill, but it's a little nicer because it um, has a shoulder strap. And then I use my rechargeable clam aerator with this. It lasts all day. So now I'll show you what I have in my bag. This is nice because it has lots of pockets and they're all protected from the weather. So in this, you can bring your drinks and your snacks. 
got my night crawlers. Um, if I'm packing a lot of stuff, I can put these in one of those little soft-sided coolers and just use a carabiner and hang it off any of these clips that are on the side of my hip pack. So that's really nice. I could put small rod holders in here too. So I have my stringer. Extra towel, one towel here. I have some rigs pre-made, so I have um, the Wolf River rigs, the three ways on this one, and then just the leaders with the barrel swivel. Leaders of different sizes because sometimes they're hitting on a shorter leader and sometimes they like a really long one. So a variety of uh, lengths and colored hooks. Then this is a handy little rod holder. So this is going to hold my um, stringer and then if I have a different, a throwable minnow bucket with, that'll hold that too so it stays in the water. This is my terminal tackle. So on one side I have all my hooks that are um, labeled by size and then separated by color. Just makes it easier when I am selecting a certain thing. And then on this side, I have my sinker slides, my three ways, my line floats, beads, if I want to go with a split shot, um, my interlocking snap swivels, barrel swivels, and then if I would use walleye flies, my bobber stops, I started using between the slide and the barrel swivel because sometimes these will break apart. Is that you? Stand by. <laughs> so it just. Uh, <laughs> kind of uh, reduces the impact. And then some floating jig heads. Hi Carol King, we're shooting a video. Hi Carol. So that's my terminal Good. tackle. I'm mic'd so you could keep talking. <laughs> well now, here, now you're here. in the video. Here, here. I'll shoot it selfie style. I don't know how I'll no, do, I'll, but. I'll um, call you back Carol. Okay, bye. <laughs> I have another container with my bells and uh, I switched from the glow sticks to these lights. You just have to um, flip the batteries around when you want to use them, but they're super bright and they stick right in the bells. Take them off when you cast. That's my handy tip of the day because they will end up right in the river. And then these just clip up on the rod tip. And then I have my weights. And now I can take the three, the two and three ounces out of here because I was fishing a couple days ago and we were using one ounce. So I know I don't have to carry all this extra weight. I keep a big container of all the extra stuff in my truck. I just keep it in there at all times. I'll show you that real quick. So if I run out of something, I do have this. I usually have another noodle here rigged up. And then these other pockets, I just, I have my tools, my headlamp, band-aids and Benadryl, my leader line. Oh yeah, my snacks. I got cheese and stuff in there. Then here I keep my freshette. Um, oh, I've got another pair of pliers, ibuprofen, I think that's about all I have, hemostat. So that's all I can think of that we need. Can you think of anything else I'm missing? Garbage bag? Oh yeah, we usually always bring a few grocery bags. We'll throw them in wherever they fit. And um, every time we're out there, we're picking up trash, picking up glass. I'm usually barefoot. I probably won't be now, but um, yeah. Warmers People are, are pigs. Too. Hand warmers. Yeah, it's about that time. So there we go. Good luck.